Hello all, in this video I'm going to take you through my latest painting. It's based on some photographs which I took the other day when I was out walking on my local common. So I'll show you how I made the composition, what brushes I'm using. So I'll go through all this by using some real-time footage and I'll also do some time-lapse. So these are the photographs I took the other day. Um, some of it was also video footage, so what you see here on screen now is me just watching that video footage and making up um, the rest of the composition from that. I wanted to have more water in that ditch than what there actually was on the day just to make the composition more interesting and create a leading line into the background. And then once that was sorted I began to paint the sky. So I'm using Coral Painter 2021. Uh, these are the brushes I'm using in my favourites. Most are from the Expressive Brush Pack, uh, but some are just from the brushes that come with the software. I find the Blocky Background Brush a really good one for doing fluffy clouds um, and blending the different blues together. But then I also use a lot of the brushes from the Expressive Brush Pack um, to do the wispy parts of the cloud. You can see the brushes I'm using in the top left hand corner as well as on my favourites uh, toolbar on the left there. I'm also using the mixer palette because um, I wanted to treat it like I would a traditional painting and actually mix my colours. Now I did question if I was spending too long um, doing too much detail on this sky because most of it is going to be covered up by trees but at the end of the day it will be more convincing. Okay so I continue with the painting on day three by blocking in the basic colours um, mainly using the horsetail brush for this along with some of the blending tools uh, like the smear paint and the smear blending. Um, I really have utilised the expressive brush pack that I purchased from Coral Painter a while ago. Um, it, I just find it really easy to use and it just feels very natural. Whereas some of the brushes that I got with the software they're okay but they're, I just found them hard to get my head around and they weren't necessarily me but when, when I bought this expressive brush pack I just felt like this is what I should have been using all along really. I almost like just the way it looked just like this before adding any details to it. I might be tempted to do a more looser painting uh, just using these techniques in the future. Okay so now it's time to work on the details. I spend the next few days just working and reworking areas, going over areas until they start to have a believable realism about them. So I'll do some real-time footage and some speeded up footage of the detailed work um, over the rest of this video so you can get an idea of how it progresses and how long it takes.
Okay, so I'm pleased with the outcome of this piece. Um, if you like it or you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or hit the like button. It will help the channel and I'll see you in the next video.